In this video, we're going to continue our look at Sakai Lessons tool. And the first tool that's listed, um, the reorder tool, is important. We'll get to that later. But the Add Text tool, you'll be using quite a bit to add text and headings and even pictures. When you first set up a lessons page, you will get this page, which has some great information and tips. So we're going to get started by just adding some text to our page. I'm going to hit the Add Text. And you can add just plain text. You could say Week 1 Assignments and hit Save. And if you want to see what the students see, you can enter the student view, or in mine it says Access View because mine's a project site. And you'll see that they see a similar view without the toolbars or the Edit button. So I'm going to exit that view so we can edit some more. So I'm going to hit the Edit button. And there are some styles built in. I like this blue title. OK, I'm going to Control Z to remove that. You could also manipulate the fonts um, to your own liking. So maybe Tahoma and 18 and just bold. You can even add some color to this, maybe a green. OK, and then if you hit Save, you'll see that it shows up like that. One more tip that I have on the adding text is a really great item that's sort of hidden at the top. Right here, there's a little button, and it says Templates. So these templates are great. There's three of them, but I really like this top one, which is Image and Title. So I'm going to click that, and you can see it gives me an area for an image and a title and some text there. So I'm going to double click on this square and I'm going to go to the upload because I have a picture that's on my desktop that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the desktop and here's my picture. This is a unit on interview techniques. So once I have chosen my file I'm going to send that to the server and it's going to give me a little preview and the picture is pretty small and it's square and my picture really isn't square so I can fix that by clicking this padlock which is going to lock the ratio. So now I have the right ratio but it's kind of small so I'm going to up this width to 200 and this is how big it's going to be which I think is a little bit better. And there are some other options here if you want to add a border and some space around it and the alignment. I'm going to leave that for now and hit OK. So now I have my picture, and I can type my title here. Week 1 Interview Preparation. And then I could add some text there later to fill that in, but we'll skip that for now and hit Save. And you can see that that, I think, adds a lot to the page to have a photo there. Next, I'm going to add some more text blocks that are going to be headers for the different content items we're going to link to later. So I'm going to hit Add Text, and I'm going to add Readings. And I really like that blue header, so I'm just going to use that blue title style. Okay, so we have Readings. I'm going to add another text and call this Discussion. And we'll probably have a quiz in this unit. And possibly an assignment. Now, of course, you may not have these many categories, but again, this is for demonstration purposes. So you add as many text blocks as you need, and we're going to go over reordering these items as we go along in this series on the Lessons tool.